don't need no mentions Yeah, these are my only intentions Shout out to your mom and dad for making you Staying in a vision, they did a great job raising you When I create, you're my muse The kind of smile that makes the news Hola amigos and amigas, I hope everybody is well <clears throat> So we're just gonna just jump straight into it It's gonna be a mukbang Never thought I'd be saying those words, but here we are I got my nachos Um, in this video I'm gonna be talking about why I've accepted Being, how do I say this? I guess why and how, or why I'm okay with not being in a relationship and how I've like came to terms with that I guess so without further ado let's just jump right in all right okay so picture it you got 20 sorry so again picture it 20 year old me not doing the hottest or I was not doing my god I was not doing the hottest at that point in time I was all over the place in my life wasn't doing good in school but I was just everywhere and then it was also at that time where I was on a bunch of different like dating apps and whatnot which before I even go on, I'm going to just say I would never, or no, I will never go on a dating app ever again. Not for as long as I live, nope. Mm -mm. Now, I just want to say don't let someone else's bad experiences like deter you from trying something. If you want to go on a dating app, that's fine. That's all cool and dandy, but because... But because of the way things were at the time, I would, just based off of my personal experience, I would never do it again. Never. Anyways, so again, not doing so hot in school. Wasn't really, I was prioritizing unimportant, irrelevant things in my life. And as I said, was on a bunch of different dating apps. And... Basically, just investing my time and energy and effort into people that would not do the same for me. People that did not have my best interest whatsoever. So that would eventually lead me to getting ghosted and taken advantage of. Now, before I even got on like the dating apps, and I think this was like, like a year prior. Um, everyone's like, oh, you know, like, you know, you can't you know, chase after love, you know, you have to be patient and let it come to you. So it was like, okay, yeah. So then I would wait and then it's like, okay, nothing's happening. So that's when I obviously got impatient because I couldn't wait anymore. That was really disgusting, I'm sorry. Hold on. Anyways, but... I was gonna say god damn it i forgot what i was gonna say hold on um hold on this cheese is really freaking good i would have filmed up there but i don't want to be recording and somebody just walks in the front door I'm good. Anyways. And, okay. I just want to say this. Okay, I should have mentioned this earlier, but... As you all know, I'm not the very best at staying in order. So this is going to be all over the place. I apologize in advance. Um, but... I'm just saying. I... Like, I always, like... I always talk about how much I want a relationship and everyone's like why do you want a relationship why do you want a relationship so bad and it's because I feel like I deserve a second chance or a second shot at being loved right and being treated properly 
that's why I, you know, want a relationship. N Notice how I said want, not need. Because you don't need a relationship to be happy. Not at all. But anyways. So. Just to recap. 20 years old, not doing so hot in life. Chasing after other people that didn't have that didn't have my best interests. I was just kind of just like too focused on just that and not really prioritizing or putting as much time, energy and effort as I would into other people. And obviously it just like you would think after like the first few times I would have gotten the hint and just stopped. I didn't. I didn't. Cuz I'm stubborn. And hard-headed. I'm stubborn and hard-headed. So, eventually, obviously, I, like, stopped using dating apps and talking to people for the last time on there. But, at that time, I didn't realize, like, it's not, it's not necessarily everybody else. It's the problem. It's you. Because, again, you're focusing too much on chasing after other people people instead of working on on the things that you need to work on like you're not in a good spot in life like you're all over the place you know you're not prioritizing all the stuff that you need to prioritize you're not focused you're distracted all that but obviously I was just too caught up in it too caught up in it and it wasn't until I want to say this year it really didn't solidify up until this year where like I've came to terms with or where I've slowly but surely came to accept that I'm okay with not being in a relationship and I'm going to explain why actually no there's really no need to explain why I mean I kind of like led you into it but mm -hmm. so as I just mentioned so, how I came to realize it, after the last person I talked to last year, I was like, I was like, okay, no more chasing after people, no more dating apps, no more putting time, energy, and effort into people that would not do the same for you, or that don't have your best interest, and you need to be focusing on yourself. Like, you just, love will eventually come love will eventually come but right now you need to focus on yourself now now right now or no no so secondly i'm a very self i am a very self-aware person i'm aware of the issues and the things i have going on with me and i feel like that also really helps as well because most people like would just be like well i don't know and i know for a fact that i I'm not ready to be in a relationship. I have too much going on up here and I need to figure out, I need to figure out, not only figure out myself, but I also need to um, work on, I just need to work up on a lot. You know, like I, like my main goals, my only goals in life is to be stable in all, as, in all aspects of my life. <clears throat> To have my own place, to have my own, to have my own vehicle. Once I learn how to drive, obviously, but that's on the back burner for right now. Um, be happy and be at peace, and that's the biggest goal. And I know usually for other people, it's like, oh, you know, like they want to be successful. That is one of my goals as well. But being at peace is my number one. But again. I want to make sure that I'm okay and that I'm in a good spot and that I have myself figured out and you know and I'm doing okay before I can fully commit you know and that's not, and that's not something that you hear like a lot of people say and it just it really gets me going or not not going it it gets my brain going I meant I'm sorry but yeah but honestly I think 
I'm starting to lean more into just like not really wanting or not wanting or not wanting a relationship at all. And I'm gonna. All right. And lastly, the lessons I've learned from you know from 20 all the way up to now. Well, no, from that time at 20 years old, the lessons that I've learned is it's okay. It's okay to want love or to want a relationship. And it's okay, you know, to use a dating app. Now, as I said, don't use, you know, you don't, don't let my experience or anyone else's for that matter. And this goes with anything, not just with like dating apps, but anyone's, don't let anyone's bad experience deter you away or yeah, deter, detour. I don't know, whichever one, um, but don't let anyone's bad experience with anything like kind of like scare you away from trying something but because of the but because of the experience i had with dating apps it was like yeah no more of these and honestly i had to this is gonna sound weird but i had to trick my brain into thinking that you don't have a choice in not being in not being in a relationship like you don't have a choice i well no technically i don't have to but i did anyway because the, because to me that would have been the only way for me to stop going on a dating app or to continue using the dating app so it was just like yeah absolutely not no and every time i get the urge to go back on one i like there's just that little voice in my head that's just like do you really want to do that what happened the last time you used a dating app you got ghosted and taken or no you got you got taken advantage of and you got ghosted. So no. As I said, I've had to trick my brain into thinking that like, okay, like you don't, yeah. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, but I had to absolutely trick my brain into thinking, okay, yeah, you don't. Now, I didn't have to, but I had to because it was for the sake of, yeah, it was for the sake of my emotional health and my mental health because, ugh. And also for all the time, effort, and energy that I wasted. So as I said, it's okay for wanting love and it's okay to, you know, use a dating app. However, don't make that the only thing that you do in your life. Because the minute that you go and seek out love and don't care about anything else, and that's the only thing that you seem to care about and be focused on, but not everything else in your life that is where things are just gonna just completely just go downhill secondly um let me see let me see if you're not in a good spot in your life and this doesn't always have to be mentally this could be financially academically um emotionally mentally physically whatever aspect if you are not doing good in any aspect of your life or even all aspects, do not jump in. Do not try to jump into a relationship. Don't do that because then that that just messes everything up for both parties. Don't do that. And the first step to acknowledge and the first step to fix or improve a situation or not not a situation a um to improve in something or, what acknowledgement is the first step into wanting to fix or improve a certain aspect of your life that's what i'm trying to get at so yeah so it's okay to like to it, it's okay to look for love but don't make that your only priority like don't just focus on that and just not care about everything else that you have going on in your life you know all right and that has been the video i hope you guys kind of enjoyed that these kinds of videos um i prefer doing on here just because on tiktok i feel like you can't get all of your points across as much as you can on youtube because you can essentially make the video like how like however long you want but on tiktok can't do that so but anyways if you haven't our if you have not already make sure you comment like and subscribe if not that is okay but we'll see you guys on thursday enjoy the rest of your day bye